one of the best ways to know if something is going to fit you online is to take a garment that you already own in the same style and lay it flat to measure it. That way you can compare those measurements to the ones that are provided online. If you're measuring a bust, lay your garment down flat, measure from the underarm seam to the other underarm seam straight across, and then double that measurement, and that should be the bust measurement of the garment. It can be a little tricky with dresses that have built-in cups or stick out a little further in the bust than the flat lay dresses. And with those, you want to bring your tape measure around a little bit lighter to allow it to get the full diameter. Because often if you pull it tight, you're flattening it and you're missing some of the inches. When you measure a garment that has stretch, you want to be really careful that you get the full range of measurements. So you start with the garment unstretched, laid flat, which will be pretty small, and then stretch it to a reasonable amount. You don't want to overstretch it where it looks silly or you know it's going to be uncomfortable or start being transparent. You want to get it at a reasonable place where it will be comfortable to wear. You get the shoulder to waist measurement so you have that torso number and you just measure from the top shoulder seam down to the waist of the garment. When measuring a waist, it can be really easy if it has a fixed waist measurement and there's a seam. So you measure left to right seam and double the number. That's pretty easy to find. If the waist has a waistband with elastic, you want to measure from the unstretched measurement all the way to the most comfortably stretched measurement. When a garment doesn't have a defined waist, it takes a little bit of guesswork, so you have to use your best judgment and determine where your waist would be. It's usually easy to do if you look at the top of the garment, the top of the straps, and then estimate where the hips are. It's about halfway in between there. When measuring the waist on pants, you want to make sure that you are taking the thickness of the material into account. Make sure that you pull them very taut because they're also not a flat measurement. Measure on the inside and pull it across and then double that measurement. The hip measurement is the widest part of the garment below the waist, and you'll want to measure it flat across. But when you have a garment that is lined or has an underdress, you want to make sure you measure where the garment touches the skin. So you don't want to measure just the outer layer because that can be deceiving. You want to go underneath and measure the part that's the tightest to your body. The hip measurement of pants is generally found three inches above the crotch seam. That's usually the widest part of the garment. You will go from seam to seam, laid flat, and then double the measurement. We generally measure sleeves from the shoulder seam down to the end of the cuff or the end of the sleeve, depending on what type of sleeve you have. When measuring a sleeve that isn't as traditional with a seam, for example, a dolman sleeve, we often will include the underarm measurement from the underarm seam to the end of the cuff or the end of the sleeve. When you're measuring shoulders, lay the garment flat and measure from the shoulder seam to the shoulder seam. Sometimes shoulders are cut in to accommodate different types of sleeves that need that extra volume. And in that case, the shoulder measurement will be smaller. Take the cut-in measurement, but also find the area where you estimate the shoulder would be and measure across. Just be sure to note if it was cut in. When you have shoulder pads, you want to give the shoulder pad measurement so that people know how large the shoulder pads are, but you also want to give the seam-to-seam -seam measurement across the back. So if someone wants to remove the shoulder pads, they know the actual shoulder measurement. Pant measurements are really important because they have quite a few that you need to include. The first one would be pant rise, which starts from the seam at the crotch all the way up to the top of the waist, and that will tell the person where it's going to hit on their body. The second one is the inseam, which again is from the crotch seam all the way down to the bottom on the inside seam of the leg going down to where the hem ends. The last measurement is the length, which is from the waist all the way down to the hem along the outer side seam.